Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about timer. Basically, what is timer and how does this work? Okay. So before we start the session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So basically what is timer? So timer is a control device. Okay. Or we can say switching device also. That receives an input signal and sends an output signal when a preset time reached. Basically this timer switch we can say operate according to the preset time okay according to time this timer switch will work okay suppose here this is the time okay and here we have set like five second okay so when this timer get input signal okay then it started to count the time okay like one two 3, 4 and 5. So here we have set 5 second. So that's why if it will reach to this preset time value then only it will give output signal. So from this we can operate the load. Okay. As per our requirement. But this timer count will depend upon the types of timer. Okay, basically which type of timer we are going to use like uh, on delay timer, off delay timers. So it depends upon the time. Okay, so these are the basics fundamental of this timer. Now let's discuss the types of timer. Basically what are the types of timer? So there are three types of timer. First one is on delay timer. Second one is off delay timer and third one is cyclic timer okay so this cyclic timer is the combination of both on delay timer plus off delay timer okay so in this video we'll discuss about on delay timer and off delay timer in next video we'll discuss about cyclic timer okay so let's move on to on delay timer okay so here we are on on delay timer so basically what is on delay timer so the timer when receive an input supply then output supply will be turned on after switching the timer contacts as per set time delay okay it means suppose this is the our on delay timer okay when on delay timer receive a input supply suppose here it received the input supply then output supply will be only turn on when the our delay set time is reached to complete level so it means as you can see over here this is the timer timing diagram okay now here suppose this is the timer okay so at input signal suppose here both are zero okay now at this level because here we have a still not apply input signal to the on delay timer when we apply the input signal towards this on delay timer that means as you can see over here when we give the input supply it means our graph is at high so this is the high level as you can see over here here we have applied input supply across this timer now what happened it starts the time counting as per our delay setting okay suppose here i have set five second delay okay five second then when we apply input supply across this on delay timer at that time this timer will start the counting okay like this in this way one two three four 
after it reached to final value it means 5 second then it stopped the counting then after only timer contacts get changed and hence output signal will be high as you can see over here output signal is high so during the time counting it is low whenever it will reach to the delay time setting like 5 second so after 5 second it will give the high output signal as you can see over here okay so in this way this on delay timer work so simply we can say suppose this is the on delay timer and if we set it delay time 5 second okay if this timer will get input supply then at that time it starts the time counting okay as per this delay setting after it will reach to this time like 1 2 3 4 5 second after that this will give the output signal so this is the basic working of on delay timer okay now let's discuss basically how this on delay timer works okay so this is the on delay timer okay so here we have a coil supply terminal a1 and a2 okay and here we have a contacts of this on delay timer so this is common point and this is nc point and this is no point okay and suppose this is the timer setting knob okay so now let's start the wiring okay so this is the 220 volt ac power supply source okay so this is the phase supply terminal or we can say live terminal we can say live terminal and we are going to give the power supply at a1 terminal through this switch okay so let's take a wire red wire and connect it to the this input terminal of this switch and from the output terminal of this switch it will given to a1 terminal of this timer okay now at a2 terminal let's give directly neutral wire okay so here i have connected neutral wire now for the load side here i have taken 220 volt ac supply source okay so now we are going to use this timer contacts these are common nc or no contact okay so let's take a wire red wire and connect it to the common terminal and from the no contact no terminal of this timer switch let's take a red wire and connect it to this wall okay now this bulb also need neutral that's why from here let's give it to neutral supply also. now we have completed the wiring so this is the simple wiring okay now let's set the time delay okay in this on delay timer so let's set four second okay so here i have selected four second okay now actually what happened when we give the power supply to this on delay timer actually what happened when it received the power supply at input it starts the time counting okay when it reaches to its time like four second after that only its contact get changed okay then it will give the output okay so here let's switch on this switch okay to give the input supply at this input terminal of this on delay timer which is coil terminal so let's switch on this so here we have switched on the power supply for input terminal now this timer will get power supply at input terminal which is a1 and a2 okay now this timer got input power supply now when this on delay timer got it input power supply then at that time it starts the time counting so here we have set four second that's why it starts time counting like one two three and finally four after completed its timing means four second as per our set time after that only it changed its it changes its contacts like this so previous it is no now it become nc previous it was nc now it is no 
now in this way this bulb will turn on after 5 second okay this bulb will turn on so basically what happened so initially it is off when we switch on the this switch this timer will get a power supply and it starts the time counting at that time like this one two three four and after that it will change its contact like this and finally it will it will give the output okay and it will make the load on in this way okay so this is the working off on delay timer now let's move to the off delay timer basically what is off delay timer so a timer which output turns on at the same time as the input receive and then the output turns off when the timer contact switch after the set time has expired okay it means suppose this is the off delay timer okay here we have set 5 second okay this is the our time setting what happened in this off delay timer when it received the input signal at that time it gives the output signal okay now when we switch off the input power supply then only it starts the time counting okay like 1 2 3 4 and 5 after 5 second only this output will be turn off okay so in this way this off delay timer works so as i have told you the set time is calculated from when the input supply turn off so this timer only able to count its timing after we switch off the input supply from this off delay timer after that it starts the time counting okay now as you can see over here this is the off delay timing diagram okay so as for this definition we can look into this timing diagrams so initially if the input is high as you can see over here, when the input is high at at same time output will be also high okay as you can see over here suppose up to here our output is our input is high so here up to here our output is still high when our input is again zero like from from this point then what happened it starts the time counting suppose here we have set 5 second so up to 5 second this timer will be on so this timer will give the output high as you can see over here. so it counts like 1 2 3 4 5 so up to 5 second this timer will be still on when it completed the timing after that it gives low output it means it will turn off the output okay so in this way this off delay timer works okay so let's understand the working of this off delay timer with the animation okay so here i have taken off delay timer okay so this is the off delay timer and this is the time setting knob and this is the coil terminal of this timer and these are the contacts of this timer so this is the common and this is the nc terminal and this is the anode terminal and here we have taken loads now this load is going to control with this timer okay according to time setting so first let's complete the wiring so this is the 220 volt ac power supply source so here let's take a wire read wire and connect it to the input terminal of this switch and from the output terminal of this switch it is connected to A1 terminals and at A2 terminal will give directly neutral wire which is black wire okay now let's come to load side so for that here I have taken 220 volt AC supply source so let's take a phase wire from here and let's give to the common terminal and from the anode terminal let's it is connected to this load so this is the bulb okay and this is the neutral 
okay now initially it is off and let's set the time here so here i have set four second so actually what happened so when we switch on this switch this timer will get a input power supply so at that time this bulb will also get on it means its output get on and so when we turn off this switch still this output will be turn on up to four second okay so let's look into this so here i'm going to switch on this switch okay so here i have switched on now this off delay timer will get power supply so now at the same time this off delay timer contacts get changed like nc from no and no from nc so here as you can see over here this contacts get change now this bulb is turned on now this counter is not started their timing counting okay so because this is the off delay timer when it starts the time counting when we again turn off or cut off the input power supply of this timer so let's cut off the input power supply so let's turn off this switch here i have turn off now when it turns off now this of delay timer starts the time counting because this timer only starts the time counting when we cut off the power supply okay so here we have cut off the power supply now only it starts the time counting so here like one two three four so it will be still turn on up to four seconds so after four seconds this will again turn off because its contacts get changed like this okay so this no contact again become an so in this way this off delay timer works okay so basically what is difference between on delay and off delay timer so if you talk about on delay timer suppose this is the on delay timer so suppose here we have set the time 5 second suppose this is the off delay timer and set time delay set time is 5 second okay so if we talk about on delay it means when it receives input signal high so at that time what happened at the same time this started the time counting like 1 2 3 4 5 okay after 5 second this will be turn on this will turn on the output okay after 5 second now if we talk about off delay timer if it gets input signal at the same time its output power get on okay but still this will not start the time counting when it will start the time count when we remove the input signal power supply means when we switch off the input supply suppose here we have switch off the input supply then only start the time counting like 1 2 3 4 5 so after 5 second up to 5 second this will be turn on and after 5 second this will be off okay so in this way both on delay and off delay timer works okay so in next video we will go for complete wiring okay in actual timer okay and actually how to set timer setting so hope you guys understand about working of on delay and off delay timer okay so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video